Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So let's talk about literature. Let's talk about books. Books that our elementary students can read and books that our middle school students can read. What books can you bring into your homeschool? Or what books can you just give your children to read? And they're actually interesting. These books I'm going to show you today are my son loves these books and I hope that your children will too. So let's dive on in. First, let's talk about this five book series here. Um, this book, these books are by Sean Jensen that follows five different middle school students and their journey to um, beat obstacles, their journey into developing um, character traits that will help them beat the odds or will help them become better people, better students, so that they can ultimately reach their professional goals. So if your students are interested in sports or they like to read sports or their boys, especially for any boy who doesn't really like to read, I think they would find these books highly, highly interesting. So um, this series here, I don't know what order they come in, but you can definitely read these out of order. The first one is um, The Middle School Rules of Jamal Charles, as told by Sean Jensen. Let me go ahead and just show you the back so you can quickly take a look at it. So the story follows Jamal Charles, who shined as a two-sport athlete at the University of Texas as a running back. And again, this story just shows that you have these um, great players in the NFL, the NBA, and other sport leagues. So you have these great players, but guess what? They went through middle school as well. They had to go to middle school and deal with the obstacles that you, as a middle schooler, especially a student that goes to public school, um, they had to deal with some of the same issues that you were dealing with. So what were those issues? How did they deal with it? What characteristics or traits did they have to fine tune and develop in order for them to become who they are today? And, re and how did they reach their goals? So this is, a, again, a great series. This one is going to be Vontae Davis. And this is... Um, I think it was in NFL, also an NFL player who was great at what he did. But again, he went to middle school as well. And this one here, he had to grow up in rough Washington, D.C. neighborhoods. So this one is for those students who, you know, you may be growing up in um a foster home or your upbringing may be a bit difficult. How did he journey through and become who he was? This guy here, let me go back. He dealt with bullying in middle school. So if your child is dealing with teasing and bullying, um, this is a great book as well. So again, you can have your children read these books and hopefully they can see themselves. So if, if you have um, friends or students who are, in public school, I think this is a great one because some of the issues that some of these people face through their journey in middle school, your kiddo as a homeschooler may not necessarily deal with, but you definitely have students who are out there in the educational system. They are dealing with these issues. So he had to overcome adversity and he had to learn what it meant to do your best and what it meant to um engulf yourself in hard work and discipline and work ethic. What did that look like um, for him growing up? Fine tuning those characteristic traits. This book here follows, um, everyone knows, knows him as Peanut, the, the football player, Charles Tillman. So this one here follows his journey as cornerback, again, of the Chicago Bears. And it talks about um, how defining your childhood or redefine, redefining your childhood stories just because you, you know, may have had divorce or death um, within your life um, or the constant relocation, traveling from one place to another in your life. Um, there were lessons in those stories. So how did he take 
um, those lessons and how did um, he become inspired by his faith, by his family, although there was he had to deal with racism, he had to deal with constant relocation, he had to deal with um again, death and divorce between parents, how did he carve out his path, um, both on and off the field? So this one is a very good one as well. The last one in the series is, um, Skylar Diggins. She was a female NBA player and this follows Skylar's journey because again, she had to go to middle, go through middle school as well. And how does she deal with trying to fit in? How did she deal with being bullied? How did she deal with always being the tallest girl in her class? Um, how did her personal life lessons help mold her from middle school through high school to being a, um, female basketball player in the um, WNBA. So again, the, this, this is really good guys. These books are awesome. And again, you can use these books um, just to have your kid read, just to read, right? Or you can pull out lessons and you can teach um, character development within these books in itself, Okay, so again, that set is really good, I think, for a fifth grader through eighth grader, specifically students who are in public school or who are dealing with some of these life issues and who may be homeschooled. Again, awesome series to include in your library for your kiddos. This um, series here is by Jason Reynolds and it's called the track series. So for those kiddos who are interested in track or they may not be interested in track, but they're interested in reading books about sports. This, this series follows four um, individual track runners, um, Ghost, Patina, Sunny, and Lou. And you may want to read this in order um, because it tells a story as well. So you definitely want to read them in order of Ghost first, Patina second, Sunny, and then Lou. So this is a group of four kids who are wildly completely different. They come from different backgrounds um, and they come from completely different um, families. So their stories are not the same, but they were chosen to become an elite track team. So this talks about their journey through fighting through whatever obstacles they're having in order to do their best because they have something to prove, right? So they have a lot to prove to other people. They have a lot to prove to themselves. And again, they each race through their own individual stories. So again, read it in order, Ghost first, Patina second, Sunny third, Lou last, to kind of see what was happening. This, you can definitely talk about um, character development, work ethic, hard work, grit, um, fighting through whatever issues or struggles you may be having, regardless if you are in public school, regardless if you are in, you know, your home school, we all deal with these life issues. We all have to look in the mirror and deal with our inadequacies, or we have to deal with doubt, or we have to deal with the issues that are happening in our um, families' lives, the adults' lives, the issues that they're dealing with, how does that impact young people and how they look at themselves and how they perceive their future? Where does the grit come from to work really hard to become successful? How do they, at the end, when you read all the stories, how do they become family at the end? Um, is that family being on that elite track team? Does that family, um, for some reason, um, provide a blanket of protection over them? Does that family that they've created become more like their real family in the end? What There's so many things that you can pull out of these individual stories and so many things that you can do with this series in terms of English language arts, guys. You can do a compare and contrast. You can choose um, Lou and Sunny, and then you can choose Ghost and Lou, or you can choose Patina and Lou, and then you can choose Patina and Ghost, and Patina and Sunny, and then you can do Ghost and Sunny, or Patina 
and sunny. Like you can do a compare and contrast which with each one of these books. And then you can do something at the end where you can create a storyboard that tells the similarities and differences of the entire um with with all four people from all four perspectives compare families compare backgrounds compare um their characteristics those traits that help them um continue and push through the end goal of being on that junior olympic team you can compare the issues that they were having within their home the issues they were having within their neighborhood the issues they were having with other friends there's so many ways that you can bring this series to life for your um, middle schooler. And again, you can definitely read this in high school or you can just have your kids read and not have an assignment at all because they're really, really good. Okay, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. I just wanted to give you a few book options for your middle schooler. Um, I hope this is helpful and I will keep pushing out videos that is about literature that is diverse literature that I have specifically with by black authors with black main characters that I hope you would find of interest. All right, y'all be blessed. Make it a great day. Bye. I think